it going guys? Welcome back to Basketball Down Under. Today is the day. The day is finally here. Leandro Ball is officially in the NBA. Summer League in Las Vegas finally kicked off today and Leangelo Ball was suiting up with the Charlotte Hornets and boy am I shocked. Leangelo scored 16 points in 16 minutes in his debut game. That is an incredible start but there is a lot to uncover that we need to look into to actually decipher if this was actually a good game or he just scored 16 points. Now you can never discredit points especially in an NBA Summer League game. He dropped 16 points in 16 minutes. That is a fantastic effort. He shot the ball really well at 5 of 10 field goals which is a really good effort despite them losing by 7 points. But it was a really really good effort for Leangelo in his first competition competitive game in over two years. It's been a seriously long time since he's played an organized competitive game of basketball, especially NBA Summer League. That is of the utmost highest level. So his effort to score 16 points in his debut is fantastic. He checked in with just over two minutes to go in the first quarter and the crowd went wild. Everyone was chanting, we want Jello, and Jello finally got on. He really did get some substantial minutes. 16 minutes is pretty good for him. Now let's talk about that opening three. My goodness was I going crazy. I'm not gonna lie, I was on the dunny dropping off the kids off and I saw that and I was like what the hell Leangelo's going off with that three. His jump shot looks pretty smooth. It's a really quick release and it's really nice to look at. It's quite a textbook shot compared to Lamelo Ball and Lonzo Ball who are his brothers. Their jump shots are really funky. Then Leangelo went to hit his four point play in the fourth quarter. That was crazy and I don't know if you guys saw it. He was talking some you know what. It wasn't PG but what he was doing to hit that four point play was crazy. He had two steals, two blocks, two rebounds as well. That was okay, that was about subpar. But he did have 16 points and that can carry whatever he did. Now I've covered Leandro Ball, I've covered where he's going, what he's doing. I predicted he was going to Charlotte months ago, months before everyone else did. But the biggest thing no one's ever talked about is his defense. Not only his defense, but his offense IQ. Both his defense and offensive IQ are terrible. Now I don't know if that's because he hasn't played a basketball game competitively in so long, but watching him on the court, he was so lost. I'm gonna really struggle to find these clips because it is a summer league game, but while he was on defense, constantly his coach was screaming out, Jello do this, Jello do that, Jello drop back, Jello get the key, Jello get in the zone, Jello get the man. They could not tell him enough what he needed to do. And it was also very similar on offense, he was very lost. Charlotte was different to many other teams in the summer league. They looked really organized and they looked like they were coached really well and they were running some strong plays. The problem was, Leangelo Ball did not know a single idea about those plays. I don't know if that's because he joined the team late or once again it's just because he hasn't played in a long time, but his IQ was quite low. There was a few times when he was meant to come off the screen and get a handoff or come up and present and get the ball and look for that next pass and he was just a second or two late every single time. I'm going to try and find these clips, but like I said, it might be a bit difficult because it is a summer league game. But on defense, he really did look really lost. Like, his man was killing him many times. He was getting blown by, crossed up, and really just getting exposed on defense and looking like a real liability. Laterally, he's quick. Speed, he's quick and athletic, that's all fine. It's all just his IQ and his intensity and want to play defense. Now when you're trying to impress a coach, when you're trying to play at the utmost highest level and prove yourself and get extra minutes, you need to play the best defense you've ever played in your life. If you want to excel, you need to prove yourself that you can not only score on offense, but you can also play some strong defense and not let your man score. Offensively, we saw that man can score dropping 16 points in 16 minutes. That was a fantastic effort. Just defensively, I'm really concern that I don't know if Leandro Ball could earn himself a roster spot if he's playing defense like that. Now I'm just going to keep going back to the point that it is his first game in over two years. It is his first game in the Summer League. Maybe he was just getting adapted. So I'm hoping for the second game. I really, really want to see, and the games throughout, his defense really lifting and his IQ really being more effective. He had a nice little hustle play where he tapped the ball and tapped the ball again and then tapped it for a really nice assist. That was one of his best hustle plays all day. But other than that, Leandro, he's kind of a pretty boy. He waits for the ball to come to him and he doesn't really do too much work. But when he gets the ball, he's a dead eye shooter. His confidence also lacked in certain areas, which once again reverts back to that two year thing of not playing basketball. But he was really scared to handle the ball. He really didn't want it in his hands unless he wasn't shooting. So I know he's not a kind of guy that's gonna break down his defender and ankle break with a step back three or anything like that. But I also need to see a six foot five shooting guard be able to handle the ball. Another big thing I noticed is his positioning was fantastic on offensive rebounds. On defense, he didn't hustle as much as he should have, but on offense, 
when he checked into the game and a teammate put a shot up, he made it his goal to get to the ring to put himself in the best position to get a rebound. Now, a couple times he did get some really good positioning and nearly got the offensive rebound. He's just a few inches too short, so he needs to adjust his game. Well, hey, maybe he's not his best movies to crash the boards every time. He needs to transform into more of a hand land perimeter defender and he's the first man back on defense when a teammate putting a shot up. Then again, what did the coach tell him? Did the coach tell him to go on rebound? Did the coach tell him to go back? It looked like from what we were seeing, the coach told him to get offensive rebounds and he did a really good job putting pressure on the glass. But overall, I'm 50-50 on Leangelo's performance. Offensively, I think he looked great, although he didn't handle the ball and didn't do too much other than shoot. Scoring 16 points in 16 minutes with a four-point play is an excellent effort and you cannot doubt that. That is fantastic to see. And half those buckets were in crunch time as well. When they needed a bucket, Leangelo got it too. But defensively is why I'm 50% worried. He really looked lost. He really didn't show much signs of a really good defensive player. And I really need to see him lift in the next few games in the summer league to prove himself to get himself a roster spot. In saying that though, the Charlotte Hornets want to keep LaMelo Ball as happy as possible. Keep him at the club for as long as possible. Because he is a superstar. And to keep him happy, it's a very simple move. is to just get Leangelo on that roster. He will get a roster spot, I'm telling you now. It will keep LaMelo Ball happy and he'll splash some threes when the Charlotte Hornets need. I am so looking forward to the future Charlotte Hornets Summer League games. I just want to see Leandro play as much as possible. Heck, maybe they'll even put him in the starting lineup for the next few games. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with your friends, and I'll catch you later.